In today's video, we're going back in time and opening vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another vintage opening. Before we hop into it, I have a quick giveaway, which is a pretty big one today. So before we start the vintage opening, we have a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon PSA 9. I attempted to give this away like a year ago, went unclaimed. It's around 150K, I think we tried to give it away. Nobody claimed it. So guess what? You guys get another chance. Just like the video, be subscribed to notifications. Let me know down below what's your favorite card we pull in this video and what will we pull? And speaking of giveaways, if you win and you don't want to miss it, make sure you go check out the YouTube community tab. I usually don't give stuff away until like a year later. So you got a really long time to claim it, but don't use that as a reason to procrastinate. Go look and see if you want. I've been announcing them weekly for the past month or so. So see if you've won anything recently and send me an email. Okay, let's get right to the opening. We have a lot of awesome stuff i'm gonna start off with an extreme victory which is the newest of the sets we we're opening today i bought a bunch of extreme victory it was like 60 packs and we are i think maybe I mean, we still have a few left after, maybe we still have probably 20 left after this something like that but uh there are some good cards in here i've never pulled the ghost out of here so that's really the goal here out of these not an expensive ghost share but i need to pull every ghost share. it's part of my goals got to make sure we're recording correctly not in slow-mo and we are also recording uh the audio because i've been struggling recently doing stupid stuff like not recording that okay total we have 36 vintage packs here today i figured you know it's the weekend could be a fun weekend vintage opening i know you guys like this stuff so hopefully we can get some ultimate rares last time i opened some of these packs we got a bunch of ultis that card looks really really bad that's a big old ding on the corner but that's okay just a common let's see if we can get something common so speaking of commons amatroid fake hero black stego d spirit flying saucer Baby Sarasaurus, we have the Crystal's Dolphin and uh, the Spell Calling. So we are 0 for 2 to start, but we got plenty of time left. We got 34 packs, like Ruxin 34. Okay, let's try a Pharaoh Servant. And also, while we are doing this, I wanted to remind you guys, uh, you probably have seen it in other videos, but uh, I have listed a bunch of stuff on my website recently, a bunch of PSA cards, some of it's consignment, some of it's not. I have some sealed stuff I've put up there, some booster boxes. Go check it out. If you guys want to grab something on Ruxin34.com, go check it out. There's a bunch of new stuff that I've added. Deep Sea Warrior, we got Key Stein, that little finger. So if you do want to do that, ooh, Ruxin34, Oni Tank, Ruxin34, an Overdrive. Overdrive just like regular Oni Tank, and then it becomes Oni Tank, Ruxin34. That's me. Okay, we have Overdrive, Major Riot, Wing Weaver, uh-oh. We got something coming up. I have truth. I think we got a foil backup soldier. There we go. Not bad. We've had bad luck with these Pharaoh Servant. If you guys remember last time, I think it was in the old versus new opening. I can't remember exactly. Go check that video out, by the way, if you missed it. I think we went 0 for 10 on Pharaoh Servant, so it was pretty rough. So hopefully that means we're due. Let's go try Ancient Sanctuary. I'm not going to bother trying to save them or anything. It's Ancient Sanctuary, you know. It's probably the least exciting set here, even though it is from 2004. Let's see what we can pull. One, two, three, four. We have uh, Ninjutsu Art of Transformation, Arcane Archer of the Forest, Rux and Special. Dust Barrier, Sonic Jammer, another Rux Special, Three Amplicuda, Earthquake, Piranha Army. You just, oh, wait, wait, you just got it. My Poker Rux fan, you just got to beat the, the Mudkip Kid to get that. Just beat the Mudkip Kid. Um, <laughs> Human Wave Tactics and the Special Hurricane. If you're not a Poker Rux fan, you're probably really confused by that. But speaking of Poker Rux, that's my Pokemon channel where we do Pokemon challenges. Our latest video just crossed 10,000 as I'm recording this, which is our third highest viewed video on the channel, which is pretty exciting. So it's doing pretty awesome. We're over 6,000 subs. So if you are not following and you like Pokemon challenge content, go give it a subscribe. If you do not like Pokemon challenge content and you don't think you're interested, don't don't bother. Just don't do it because, you know, subscribing to a channel and not watching the videos actually is bad for the channel. So I only want you guys to help over there if you guys like the content. Uh, Pyramid Turtle, same here. Like if you're watching this video right now and you're like, I don't think I'm going to watch this guy. Don't subscribe. Only subscribe if you think you're going to watch it. Um, that is a big help to me if you guys do that. So I appreciate all you guys who are subscribed and have been subscribed for a long time and you've watched the videos. That's pretty amazing. Red carpet. Yeah, it's weird because like if you subscribe and then you don't watch it, it like stops pushing it out to as many subscribers because it's like these subscribers don't even watch this guy. It is better actually to watch and not be subscribed than to be subscribed and not watch. So, I mean, it makes sense when you think about it. It's like, yeah, well, you want them to watch it. But uh, there's been like, I feel like for a long time, people thought that subscribers is more important than uh you know actual people watching you so uh, just so you guys know that it's not actually we have dark bat insect imitation attack and receive there's not really like any like nothing's going wrong like with my channel or anything like that it's just something that i figured i'd mention mitch and especially with like our Yu Gi Oh channel it's it's more of like a 
a lot of time, not, I mean, we have 200 whatever thousand subscribers. We never get that many views. Like we'd have to do something crazy. It's not like every single subscriber watches every time on this channel because we post a lot of videos. So it's like, they're not gonna watch 365 videos a year. Some of you guys do and you guys are crazy and awesome. Uh, but most people won't. So uh, on the Poker Rocks channel, it's a little bit easier because we post like one video every two months. Uh, so it's like, yeah, if you watch every video I post, you watch six videos in the entire year. You know, it's like not that many. So yeah, not, not really relevant. Just chatting. I'm just chatting because, I'm, you know, I'm just I'm biding time. I'm filibustering. And so we pull a foil here because so far we've only got what we got. We got two or one. No, we got only tank rocks at 34 and then we got a foil. OK, we have crop circles, fake hero, alien hunter. Brainwashing beam, but sometimes it's fun to do a little chat, you know, chat about random stuff with Alien Grace. Some of you guys are like, why did you even talk about that? I don't care. Future Fusion, I want that ulti. I mean, I have one, but I want one to be pulled by me. Okay, Extreme Victory first, Ed. Here we go. Let's do this. See what we can do. It's been a weird month. No new releases. I mean, technically, we had the Kyber Briefcase, and technically, we're going to have Speed Duel next week for, we're going to do one video on that or something. But in terms of like big, like normal box releases and stuff, nothing, which is like, as I've said, not a bad thing to have like a month off, a little relaxation from the sets. You kind of grab the stuff you want. Not too much product flooding the market. You know, it's not a bad thing. It's to, uh, you know, let it breathe a bit. It's been weird, though. It's been weird. This month, I've just been like, OK, what am I going to do? Nothing new to, to post. I actually got to think of ideas. You know, I got I got to find product for this stuff. One, two, three, four. And overall, I think it's been a good thing. We have Invitation to Dark Sleep. Mystic Probe, but April picks up again. We start getting more stuff. De Deep Sea Warrior, Gruch, and Kuwagata. Soul of the Forgotten, we have Gust. Insect Barrier, and Mirror Wall, another trap. So we, two foils out of Pharaoh's Servant. We're making a comeback here. That's a beautiful card. Hey guys, you guys know where I know this one from. Master Duel, no, I got you, I got you. See, you thought I was gonna say Duel Links? No, I'm just kidding, it was Duel Links. Okay, Extreme Victory, uh, look. Tour guide, like, come on, let us pull a tour guide. Like, it's not even that crazy expensive. Let us pull a tour guide. That'd be a cool one to grade. Runaway car curry. I think when I graded mine, then I pulled. I did grade a ten actually. When I pulled it back in 2018 or 19, graded a PSA ten. I sold it unfortunately for super cheap, and then it went way up because, of course, you know, COVID and everything. Uh, Dodger drag. Oh, that is a foil. Wait. Okay, we got to do the weird pack trick on there. Dodger Dragon. Really interesting artwork. I actually like it. I think it's pretty cool looking. So we've got our Los Angeles uh, baseball dragon. Very cool. Let's see. Let's just open our one uh, Lost Millennium. I think we've probably pulled all the ultis because the other day we pulled three ultis out of uh, in like one opening. No, that was in the 50 pack opening. I might have gone over 10, was it? We did a 50 pack old school opening. That was fun too. One, two, three, four. I think it's fine on Lost Millennium. We have Medusa Worm. We pulled three ultis. So. Not feeling like we'll pull one, but hey, maybe there's another one. We can. They are random packs. First in a tricks. Very nice. I got to grade some of those. I think that one's a little too off center. Ancient Gear Soldier and. Oh, no way! Another ultimate! <laughs> These packs were loaded. We might have pulled like five ultis. It was like at least four because we pulled three in that one video. I don't remember if we pulled one in the other video. We opened some. That's a sweet one. First Ed. I might be grading that. Centering is not perfect, but it looks pretty good. Let's see. Building up more PSA subs. That looks that looks decent. We're definitely going to send that in. All right, first ad ulti. It doesn't matter if it's a retail one or not. We're going to send that sucker in. Hero Signal is probably a, tw I would guess a $20, $30 card. Uh, just, I mean, Lost Millennium is not super rare in retail, but I mean, it's a hero card. It's an ulti. I mean, it's got the bat signal for heroes. Okay, that's sick. That's a super good pull. Let's just get the Ancient Sanctuary out of the way. Let's, look, let's pull an Econ real quick. That's the one card I really want. Well, I mean, Burst Dream and I guess I want Burst Dream and I want uh, Dark Magic Attack. Those are good, too. Secret Rares, I wouldn't be mad about either, but really Econ. I've never actually pulled one. No, I've, no, I've pulled one. I feel like I've pulled one, maybe. Delta Attack, Array, Fiend Scorpion. It wasn't for me, though. Labyrinth of the Nightmare, Regenerating Mummy, The Law of the Normal, Metal Armor, Bug, Solar Ray, Warrior of Zera, and Double Costin. Okay. Pharaoh's Servant. Let's keep it going. Can we get another foil? We've already gotten two so far. Infinite Dismissal. I would like more stuff to grade. So if it's like an unlimited Buster Blader original, I would definitely grade that if it's centered. We have seven completed Javelin. It's not first ed or anything, but I mean, a PSA 10 Buster Blader Unlimited OG is probably pretty sick. Light of Intervention and Michizuri. That's the second time we've pulled that today and like the 50th time out of those packs. Extreme Victory is the one I really have high hopes for. Like, come on, Ghost Rare, Torg. I mean, not the Torg guy's not the Ghost Rare, but the Ghost Rare or the Secret Rare Tour Guide, or the Mystic Piper, or whatever's expensive now. Serene Psychic Witch, come on, Reboot. Force Resonator, Red Dragon Vase, Lancer Linworm, Sheehan's Advisor. I keep forgetting to do the pack trick right. Sheehan's Advisor, these are also really easy to miss. They're very subtle foils. 
Very cool. Okay, power of the duelist. We are kind of balling out right now. One, two, three, four. We have Sabersaurus, Black Stego, Defender, Blade Master, Ambulance, Alien Gray. We have Vehicle Connection Zone, Fossil Excavation, and a Chimera Tech over Dragon. Just the Ultra, not an ulti or anything, but. This is a card that we could not pull for the longest time. So first dead, how's the back look? Okay, maybe a little tiny bit of scuffing. We're definitely gonna grade that though. That has a shot at a 10. Centering, looks pretty nice. It's not perfect, but it's definitely good enough. Definitely good enough. Man, we are just, we're, look, I like doing these old school openings. You can get some cards to grade. You know, gotta build up that graded pile. And that's a cool one, unlimited. I mean, first dead ultra. It's not the ulti, but even the first at Ultra PSA 10 for like 100, 150 bucks. I'm guessing the raw value of that card is not super high, but that's okay. We don't care about the raw value right now. We're grading it, okay? Uh, let's see what the extreme victory can pull. This is uh, not wanting to open. There we go. That opened pretty good when you got that. Okay, one, two, three. Let's do this. Okay, so this is where it's going to be. No, oh, no. This is where it's going to be like that. Okay, it's going to be a ghost dress, so we got to be careful. We have TGX 300, Mech Time Blast, Karakuri Kamachi. Mechlord Army of Wazel, a Resolute Mechlord Desk. No, just kidding. That is not the desk. And, ooh, another soup. Wait. Okay, somehow I messed that up still. Lancer Dragonute, uh, another super. That's like three in a row, I feel like. So far, this has been a really good opening. We're like actually pulling stuff. We got an Ultra from Power of the Duelist. Wait, what was the other bit? Oh, yeah, Ulti out of Lost Millennium. We got a couple supers out of Ferro Server, which, you know, compared to over 10 is really good. Man, I mean, we've done good. Extreme Victory, uh, you need to step it up a little bit. You got all supers, but we want something better than that. We have Sabersaurus, Baby Sarasaurus, Contact. It's crazy how old Baby Sarasaurus is, and it's, like, really good still in Dinos. Dolphin, we have Amos Rescue Roid. And Supercharged. No, do not give us that as an ulti, or I'm going to be angry. Let's try for on a Guardian. Haven't really opened any of these today i think we've opened like one maybe did we did we even open one i can't remember all right weekend vintage opening hopefully you guys are having fun and owl of luck a man with the widget cabazals card shuffle needle wall reasoning master kianchi soul leader living wonder mystery and book of moon i mean that is a really good rare i mean the original print of book of moon you know what I noticed recently when I was going through the doing the top 25 best pulls on our channel? By the way, go watch that if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, we put in some amazing pulls from the history of the last five, six years of the channel. But I noticed on the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon pull, I pull a Book of Moon in, in Retro Pack 2, and I call it the most expensive Book of Moon print. And I don't know if I was thinking because we were opening Champion Pack 1 as well. I don't know. But for some reason, I said maybe I was referencing Champion. I don't know. But it sounded like you're, I was referencing Retro Pack 2 as the most expensive. And it's like a common. And I'm like, uh. Or maybe I was trying to say it's the most expensive common because obviously Book of Moon from Champion Pack 1 is the most expensive. It's super expensive. Oh, I didn't do the big pack trick. I messed it up. Okay, messed it up on that. But yeah, I it was a weird... I was like, what am I saying here? Because that, that's not true. <laughs> so I don't know. But yeah, it was weird. But I noticed that going back on the old old clip. I was like, uh, that doesn't make sense, Roxanne. Okay, one, two, three, four. Can we get another big pull? We have Earthshaker. We got Mr. Volcano, that fiery finger. Can we get a big ultra? We have not got an ultra or a secret yet. Science Soldier out of this, out of Fair Server. Cyber Falcon. What? I, okay. I can probably relate to what I did. Sometimes I lose my train of thought or I say something and I see a card and I stop talking. And when you cut it off at that point, it doesn't really make sense because I didn't finish the sentence. That could have been what happened. Darkfire Soldier number one and Force Requisition. So many traps in Pharaoh's Servant. Let's do another Power of the Duelist. If we can get, we've got an ulti, we've gotten us ultra, we've got some supers, we've done good. If we get a secret, it'd be great, but this doesn't have secrets. So let's just get another ulti. That, that would make up for it. Alien Skull, Rouse, the Starbird. Ambulance Road, we have Excavation, Connection Zone, Fearmonger, Rescue Roid, and Neospace. That would be a sweet ulti as well. A lot of Pharaoh Servant left. I'm mean, just, come on, give us a Buster Blade or give us a Thousand Eyes. Either one of those would be huge. Because I I think we did pull an Imperial Order out of here, so it's likely all of these are the retail packs, so no Genzo, unfortunately. Genzo would be exciting, but not possible out of these, I don't think. Insect Barrier, we have Spike Bots. He's got the <laughs> giant spikes for arms. We have Grotto number two. Mr. Volcano Fiery Finger. We have Gradius and we have Morphing Jar number two. It's a Morphing Jar, but just number two. Extreme Victory. We need some extreme pulls here. Extreme Victory, you can pull a secret though. You're one of the ones who can pull a secret. Let's do three from the back. Okay, so I think this is it. The last time it didn't work, so maybe I messed it up. We have Morphtronic Stabling. Come on, Tour Guide. Come on, Ghost Rare. Runaway, Catapult Dragon, Warwolf, Red Dragon Vase, Nebula Meteorite, out of the blue. 
a resonator call, and an ultimate rare, Mara of the Nordic Alphar. So, okay, not a huge ulti. I don't really know if there are huge ultis in this set. This tour got, guy didn't get one for some reason. That'd be a really cool. I mean, it does have an ulti later, but not in this set. Okay, and I do own one. Someone actually gifted me one, which was pretty amazing. So I have, I still have that in my binder. That was in that awesome, I think that was in that awesome collection. Somebody gave me a collection, which was insane. Uh, I think I have a video, shoot, the video we should be able to find. So if you have not seen that, they gifted a pretty amazing collection with some big cards in it. So I kept some of those big ones from my personal collection. All right, Darkfire Soldier, we got Bite Shoes. We have the All Seeing My Tea today. Ground Collapse with a giant damage corner. Darkfire Soldier number one. Eye of Truth, Metal Detector, Flying Kamakuri, and Way Off Center, another Michizuri. This is insane. That's three Michizuri out of seven packs so far. Which if you think about it, I mean, getting that many of the same rare, like there's a lot of rares in the set and you only get one rare per pack. So getting that same rare over and over and over is crazy actually. Power of the Duelist. So far we've gotten a Chimera Tech. We got, have we even gotten a super or an ulti? I don't think we have. We've just gotten an ultra. It's been a little weird. Mausoleum, decoy, roid, bite lawn. Did get a lot of supers in that other opening, so maybe that's where those went. Neos, good pull. Pull that out. We have Wonder Garage, baby Cerasaurus, and we have... Oh, the ultimate rare! Overload Fusion! I've been asking for this in every other video we've been opening Power of the Duelist, and we got it! Overload Fusion ulti, so not Future Fusion, but Overload Fusion for all you Cyber Dragon fans out there. That is so cool! Ultimate Rare Overload. I think we did this as a question for Sean on Guess That Price, the last episode, RIP. And I think it was around like 50 bucks. So it was a pretty decent uh, Ultimate Rare card. How does it look on the back? Is the big ulti stamp. There is some scuffing. I don't know. I might try this at PSA just to see what happens. I mean, this would be a pretty cool PSA 10. Though it is sort of a playable card, but it's also really old at this point. So definitely nice to grade. Centering looks good. So... I think it's like a nine at worst. All right, that's two ultis. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, okay, we're doing pretty good so far. Two ultis, an ultra, which, you know, one in 24 for those ultras. So that's a pretty tough pull. Uh, we've got some supers throughout. Oh man, Overload, that's amazing. Invitation to Dark Sleep, Mystic Pro. We have Solomon's Law Book, Deep Sea Warrior, Regulation of the Tribe, Skull Mariner, Cold Wave, Gamble, and Monster Recovery. Okay, sure, whatever. Okay, let's do Pharaonic Guardian here. Let's see what we can get. $4.49, not anymore, obviously. Oh my gosh, Hiccup, whoa. Being attacked by the Hiccups. There's some amazing commons in here, so let's see if we can get some. <sighs> Bottomless Shifting Sand. I want Don Zaluga as our Ultra Rare. Cabazals, Card Shuffle, Ruxin Special. We have Needle Wall. Cat of Ill Omen. Reasoning, come on, baby. Master Kianchi and a question. All right, an ultra rare question. This is a really good opening. We're getting some old pulls. Question, not going to be an amazingly expensive card or anything. Centering is a little bit off. Back's pretty clean for Pharaonic Guardian, actually. That is, let's see about that centering again. Little bit off, but I mean, honestly, pretty nice card. Wow, we are pulling some good stuff today. Let's try Extreme Victory again. Extreme Victory, you could really like turn this from a really, really awesome op I mean, it's pretty, It's pretty amazing already, but... You could make this like insane by pulling a ghost or a tour guide. We have Scarlet Security. We got Jar Turtle with the Jar of Greed on his back out of the blue. Elder of the Six Samurai, which becomes a super rare in the, what is that called? The uh, Samurai's Assault Special Editions. We have Six Out, which we opened that recently in our uh, three year anniversary video. Go check that out. Big pull in there. Big pull. You might have missed it. Six Die. We have Tigarius. Catapult Turtle Dragon, not Turtle, as for Girl, and yeah, Hush Psychic Cleric. All right, so I had hopes of Tour Guide, had hopes of Ghost, not this time. Power of the Duels, I mean, you gave us Overload, and you gave us an Ultra. I'm not expecting more. I mean, to be honest, out of 10 packs, pretty good. Can't complain. We have Destiny Mirage. Let's just see if we can add a little cherry on top, a little gravy to the biscuit. Let's go Excavation. We have Connection Zone, Fearmonger. And D chain, the chain of D. Five packs left. Pharaoh servant. Pharaoh servant, you're kind of one that's been slacking off. Everybody else has kind of been contributing. You haven't done much. We got a bunch of damage cards in here. We have Dark Bat, Insect Imitation, Attack and Receive, World Suppression. Come on, baby. Give us that big thousand eyes restrict Buster Blader, Flying Kim Curry, Three Headed Guido. Morphing Jar number two. The same rares over and over. I don't know what to do about that. Okay, Extreme Victory, First Edition, Last Chance at Tour Guide uh, for this video. I have to do a few more packs. Uh, last chance at Ghost Rare for this video. Here we go. We have Out of the Blue. And last chance at another secret besides... No, I guess Ferris Herb and Guardian do. Okay, Power Up Adapter. Look, it's a little uh, a plug for your iPhone. Like, have you guys seen that commercial on YouTube TV where the plug is singing about missing the... Yeah, it's weird. 
Uh, we have Trey Toad and... Oh, Elemental Hero, Neo's Knight. This would have been an amazing ultimate. This is probably the best, or at least my favorite ultimate in the set. It is an ultra though, we'll take it. Neo's Knight, Elemental Hero card, you gotta love that. Dude, the pulls today have been great. Back to Front and Guardian. This is coming off a big Ultra Pull or Super Bowl. Why did this feel weird? I don't know. This feels thin for some reason. Okay, let's see if we can go two in a row. Can we get Metamorphosis? Can we get Trap Dust Shoot in this pack? Cry you well. Buster Rancher. We got Poison Mummy. Gravekeeper's Curse. Banner of Courage. Curse of Aging. Yomi Ship. And uh, Wandering Mummy. That's fine. We got a big pull. Nothing to worry about. Okay, I'm going to save Ferris Servant for last so that they can pull us a nice last pack magic to make up for their two for nine performance. Overall, these Pharaoh Servant, the guy did tell me after I bought him that he had pulled Buster Blader out of him. So I was like, well, that would have been nice to know ahead of time because, you know, you've already pulled one of the Ultras. So uh, that's OK, though. But uh, that could be one of the reasons we're not pulling Ultras. One had been pulled, but there was like 40 something packed. I still have more. We should be getting more. I think we got an Imperial Order. I don't know if we pulled another Ultra, maybe like one. Royal Red of Saxation, we have Alien Skull, Ralph's Starbird, Re Ambulance Roid, Rux is special. Fearmonger, Paths of Destiny, we have Orbital Bombardment, Wonder Garish. Okay, Aqua Dolphin, another super. Well, it's our first super of today, but we had pulled a lot of them. So that's three foils out of Power of the Duelist. It's three out of 10. It's really not bad. Okay, last pack, Ferris Servant. Have not had a lot of ultras throughout these. Maybe this is the one we're going to pull. I think we pulled one Imperial Order as well. So not really uh, too bad on those because it's a secret. Let's see what the last pack magic could give us. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I said that really fast because guess what? This has been a great video. Gift of the Mystical Elf. We have World Suppression, Burning Land. Come on, guys. Weekend Vintage this week. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. Gamble, Cyber Falcon. Hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed the content and you want to watch more. Shadow of Eyes, Drill Bug, last pack magic, last card. Will it be a thousand eyes? No, and it is a foil. Parasite, Parasite. Hey, three for ten, three supers. Old school pack. What do you expect? I mean, not terrible. Okay, the back is pretty uh, pretty scuffed up, so not a PSA candidate on that one. But it's a classic. Weevil Underwood card. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Zudu, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Cheng Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.